M0 FXB, there's new firmware for the Radto RT920. Number one, add full channel mode and zone mode selection. Add AM, SSB radio spectrum function, that's got to be good. Add support for the AM radio 5K step frequency. Now this is an excellent shack in the box type radio. You get VHF, UHF air band that works well. We also get the HF bands in radio mode. So let's just load it. Go to the link I will provide, scroll down and you get, there is programming software as well, which is CPS uh, 1.09, then it ends in 919. But the crucial one is the firmware down here, version 0.1525019. So click that and click the software as well. We're going to use both. Uh, so now let's go to the firmware. See the way you've got CPS there, but you want firmware and this window will open. Now I always get the firmware file and drag it somewhere. All you do is click on it and just drag it to a space on your desktop. So now when we double click the boot loader or the firmware loader, like so. Click more info, then run. So this is our loader. Now we're going to plug the cable into our radio. So you can see that and plug it into our PC. We need to select our COM port. So we go right click and then you get another list appear just here. Let's move this over. Right click device manager. And we're looking for ports on the left, double click and we're look, COM3. So we know our number, we can go three dots, go to desktop and look for that file that we've saved. There it is there, 920 version, it ends 919. So that's in there, port three. And we're not going to click update until we've gone into firmware mode. Let me just... I just realized my radio was in the way there. Let me just show you that again. Three dots on the desktop. Like so, we just double clicked on the firmware and that put it in where we want it. Just here, then COM3. I don't touch the board, right? COM3, now we're gonna go into update mode. So turn off the radio, hold down the bottom black button and the orange, the bottom orange one, it might be black on your model, but on the bin, on the Binitone model, the Badger Tone. And when, if you do it right, you have to keep it pressed. Yeah, let's do that again. Keep it pressed. It will say update. So hopefully you saw that. Black and orange, hold down, turn on. If it doesn't do it first time, just do it again. We're now in update mode. We can now click update. And if it works, it will start to go. And if it keeps saying retry, don't worry, just keep having a go at it. Can have another go. I extracted it into one folder. Double click, more, run. Uh, select the folder. That's desktop and it's in a folder called Radtel 920, and there it is there. Port three, and we're in update mode, update. It's taking ages, I'm gonna try and reboot. Okay, after a couple of tries, turn up the volume on the radio, and it did go in. Okay, we're at the radio again. Let's press and hold the zero. Go into sort of HF mode, and it will do seven megs, fourteen megs. It will do twenty-eight megs, but if you want to transmit on FM only, twenty-seven, twenty-eight megs, you need to be on, on in normal mode. So press exit. But otherwise, we're on HF. Let's find a signal. We've connected our long wire to the antenna there. Let's just. I don't even know how busy it is. Let's do the bandwidth actually. Hit the star and let's change the bandwidth. 
That sounds better, doesn't it? Hit the star again. Go back, put the arrow back here and then just go up. Right, that's sounding good. Now this is the new feature. You need to set a shortcut button so you can turn on the spectrum. So you have to go menu. Uh, go to, you want the, until it says PF. You'll see it. Oh, we have to exit completely. So we have to exit a minute and just note when we go into the menu, you will notice now you can select zones and channels. Um, so Bluetooth there, of course. Noise reduction. Hmm. All right, we're going to find it. All your repeater shifts. There it is there. PF3 spectrum. So you press OK. And then PF3, exit. Now go back into radio mode, holding zero. And PF3 is the one underneath the PTT. So we're going to HF mode, and I think the spectrum looks really smart. You wait and see. So there you go. And it's scanning now. Let's, um, yeah, I need to tinker with this. I've not used it yet. I'm just pressing the hash. Do that again. I notice that the bandwidth changed. Go menu when we're in scan. Okay, I'm seeing this changing, the span. LSB up there. Let's hit the star. Let's hold down. I'm just trying a few different buttons now. Oh, it's, you, can, you can enter frequencies. So I found that when it went into span, then it changed the bandwidth. Let's do that again. So anyway, load it up. Have a little play. You've seen the video. I'll uh, I'll play with it a bit more, and then um, let's do the bandwidth quickly now. That's the bandwidth. Press the three. See the green line? I bet you that's squelch. We need to learn how to bring that down. Yeah. Um, I'm pressing. Press the OK. Pressing OK. Yeah. Let me tinker with it. Cheers.